The favorite technique of this Dutch fighter was a blow to the liver, both with the hand and with the knee. He perfected these blows and used them successfully. And now the third one comes. Boom. We are talking about the legendary boss Rutten. He pioneered these moves and popularized them among MMA fighters. In the first part, we told you about his acquaintance with martial arts and his development as a mixed martial arts fighter. Today, we will remember the successful decline of Boss Rutten's career together and look at his other knockouts. In the last video, we stopped at the Dutchman's 10th victory in his 22-match winning streak, after which he hung up his gloves. El Guapo went on to smash everyone in Pank Race and become one of the greatest fighters in the history of the organization. Who is El Guapo, you ask? Boss Rutten received this nickname at the gathering of fighters in Japan before the next Pancrase tournament. In Spanish, El Guapo is translated as handsome. At the shared breakfast, he spoke with Ken Shamrock's ex-wife, who was of Mexican descent. The phrase El Guapo sounded in the conversation, and later other fighters, in particular Kevin Randleman, began to call Boss that way. The next contender for the Pancrase title in the absolute weight category was the American Jason DeLucia. This was the third meeting of fighters under the auspices of the organization. In the first two meetings, Boss defeated the American fighter. Jason DeLucia is famous for being in the very first fight and the very first win in UFC history. He practiced Kung Fu style. The American went on a series of seven wins in a row and lost only once since the last fight with Bruton. DeLucia was more active in the first half of the fight. He threw a lot of kicks on different floors and worked with a series of punches, especially on the body. Boss also responded with kicks and punches less often, but it was clear that the punches were heavier and more accentuated. We'll play off later on. There were several warnings to Rutten for blows with a closed fist to the head. In the second half of the fight, Boss began to press more and hit more. And in one of these attacks, Jason missed a couple of hard uppercuts to the liver and was knocked down. After that, he fell a few more times, but exhausted from the pain, got up again. Boss dropped a series of blows to the liver area each time, and after the fourth fall, DeLucia didn't rise again. El Guapo once again defended his championship belt and extended his winning streak, and Jason DeLucia went to the hospital with a ruptured liver. In September 1996, Boss Rutten had a rematch with one of the biggest stars of the promotion, Masakatsu Funaki. It had been Funaki, who removed the zero from Boss's defeat column at the beginning of his career. The Dutchman really wanted this revenge in order to repay the debt to his offender. Funaki was not only the co-founder of the Pancrase organization and the most popular Japanese fighter, but also one of the promotion's most successful fighters. In the last 11 fights, he lost only once. This fight was one of the greatest fights in Pancrase history. A very dynamic duel, both in the standing position and on the ground. In the standing position, Rutten was more successful and was far ahead in terms of thrown and significant blows. Realizing that he was inferior in the exchange of blows, Kunaki, at the slightest opportunity, transferred the fight to the ground, where he dominated more. There was a moment when both fighters went to painful holds on the feet at the same time, but neither of them succeeded. Somewhere in the 14th minute, Boss beautifully escaped from the parterre, pushing the Japanese fighter with both feet to his chest. Masakatsu tried to attack but stumbled upon the powerful counterattack from kicks and punches. After a right hook, Funaki was knocked down. The Japanese fighter got up but again received a powerful overhead palm strike on the ground after a failed takedown attempt. You could hear how his head hit the ring floor. After these blows, Masakatsu's face no longer looked as handsome as the beginning of the fight. Boss Rutten was unstoppable, and having carried out several swift attacks, 
after a series of uppercuts, the Japanese fighter was again knocked down. Funaki continued the fight, showing the fans his strong spirit. But after many knees to the head from the tie clinch, Masakatsu fell into a deep knockout. At 18 minutes, El Guapo scored another victory and defended his title of the King of Pancrase. Masakatsu Funaki is considered one of the greatest Japanese fighters in MMA history. He is the only mixed martial artist to have victories over the Shamrock Brothers and Boss Rutan, and was the first person to win the King of Pancrase title twice. After five wins and one draw, in January 1999, Boss entered the ring against the Japanese fighter, Kengo Watanabe. It was the debut of a young Japanese fighter, and it seemed to me that it was not the best idea to put him in the first fight with the champion. The fight began with a quick right cross from Watanabe. After a long clinch, where there were no sharp moments, Rutan landed a good middle kick. Kengo was good in the stance and landed several heavy hits on his opponent. In one of these exchanges, Boss landed a powerful knee to the body and added a right hook. The Japanese fighter was knocked down but continued the fight. He rushed in and landed two solid right hooks, but immediately ran into a powerful counter from Rutan. After a series of accented punches to the head, Watanabe was back on the ground. He got up and charged again and landed a few good palm strikes to the head, but Boss countered with a powerful middle kick to the liver and a flurry of punches to the head. Kengo fell and the referee stopped the fight. El Guapo continued with an 18-win streak. This was Boss's last fight in the Pancrase organization. He left her as one of the greatest fighters in the history of the organization. The only athlete who did not lose to him was Ken Shamrock. In 2000, when Rutan was a commentator for the Pride Fighting Championships, there was talk of a possible third fight between the two. Boss agreed, but Shamrock refused, explaining that he had already won twice and there was no need to win a third time. In 1998, he signed a contract with the UFC, which at that time was only developing. And in January 1999, he entered the octagon for the first time against the Japanese fighter, Tsuyoshi Kasaka. It was a heavyweight contender fight. In the first round, Kasaka made several takedown attempts. At first, Rutan skillfully defended himself a couple of times from the pass, but still, Tsuyoshi managed to transfer the fight to the ground several times. The Japanese fighter did not even try to go to painful or suffocating techniques, but constantly developed his grounded pound. Boss defended well, but still missed a lot of hard shots. The Dutchman snarled, and on the parterre, hit his opponent with a good knee to the head. In the stands, Rutan worked from the beginning, and Kasaka was constantly looking for an opportunity to carry out a takedown. At the end of the round, Boss again defended several times from passes and took the ending with his tight low kicks and middle kicks. But the Japanese fighter took the round with his control on the ground. Early in overtime, Kosaka missed some heavy crosses. Rutan pressed and defended against takedowns. After a series of strikes, Tsuyoshi missed the knee to the head and swam. Rutan unleashed a killer series of crosses on him and knocked out the Japanese fighter. It was such a bright debut in the UFC and in general in the USA as it was the first fight of El Guapo outside of Japan. In the next fight, Rutan defeated Kevin Randleman via split decision to win the UFC Heavyweight Championship. He had accumulated a lot of injuries, such as torn biceps, as well as knee and neck injuries. And according to the decision of the doctors, he decided to end his career. But after seven years, El Guapo still returned to the octagon. He was supposed to fight Kimo Leopoldo, but he was caught doping at the very last moment. And in early 2006, at the WFA tournament, King of the Streets, Boss Rutan fought with Ruben Villarreal, nicknamed Warpath. He had been alternating victories with defeats lately, and the last duel with veteran Don Fry ended in a draw. The round started with a good deuce of hooks from Rutan, then immediately, a heavy right cross to the jaw, but Warpath withstood it. Almost immediately, the Dutchman attacked, and Villarreal ate three powerful crosses in a row. After Rubens failed attack, Boss counterattacked with a pair of hard hooks, 
Warpath had already taken a lot of heavy hits. In the third minute, El Guapo began to break the opponent with strong low kicks. After the fourth blow, Villarreal began to limp, and after the fifth, he did not rise. The legendary boss Rutan ended his career with such a bright knockout. His unbeaten streak is 22 fights and lasted more than 10 years from 1995 to 2006. He has never lost in his career by knockout, and this once again confirms his uniqueness and talent as a mixed martial arts fighter. After the end of his career, Rutan focused on his acting career. He also commented on almost all pride tournaments. As a commentator, Boss has earned immense popularity among the fans due to his sense of humor, resourcefulness, and deep knowledge of the sport. If you enjoyed this video clip, please put a like, leave your comments, and press the bell icon to avoid missing the next video. And if you watch this video without a subscription, be sure to sign up for the channel right now. See you in the next video.